Alright. Let's clear SN EX8 with the low end squad. I will, uh, yeah, this is not a challenge model for the normal one to let you get the trimmed middle. How to get the trimmed middle? To get the middle is just to complete this stage with only three of the little handy buffs. If you want the trimmed one, you can only use two buffs. In fact, the two buffs we're gonna take are just those two. The first one is this, which will be able to clear the mud on the field. Well, the other one is like the Crowd control effect will last 80% longer. Just take those two. After that, uh, remember that the human meta can be obtained only on, from the normal one, so not from the challenge model, remember, huh? So normal one. And uh, this is the squad we're gonna use. <coughs> with a core operator, uh, Gnosis from the support unit. Basically, Gnosis with the uh, uh, debuff duration to enemies, he can literally perma-freeze enemies, so really, really good. Then um, for, for the rest, just a flag vanguard, a defensive vanguard, um, element wandering medic, this is really important. Chestnut, I guess, is pretty common to have. If you don't have, you can go to the shop and uh, from, with the red cert, you can get a honeyberry, which is a really good one as well, this one, honeyberry, 600. Oh wow, my friend has 6,000. Uh, then uh, after that, uh, AOE medic, elite one, uh, max level is more than enough, but my friend is a perfumer sim, so max level, no, elite two. After that, a uh, medic defender, a uh, strong defender with good HP, a uh, defensive defender, your tankiest one, what, your best sniper, your best uh, caster, mm, duelist guard, and another good medic. Last slot is up to you guys, I give you the free choice to make the stage, uh, yeah, depending on your squad. So let's just do this. It's actually pretty easy. First of all, immediately flag Vanguard here, face on top side, we need to block that dodgy enemy, just in case your caster cannot kill because it will keep dodge. Now, um, Vanguard here to get uh, DP and uh, to block a few enemies. We have enough DP, Medic Defender here below, and your single target sniper here face on bottom side to help kill the first wave of enemies. Once you get enough DP, immediately deploy your Wandering Medic to heal the elemental damage from, uh, for your operators here. Because else they will get the stun and the enemies will go through. Now keep get DP. Don't deploy Gnosis yet, yet. wait the boss to go away. Okay, around now deploy Gnosis here face on right side. Prepare Duelist Guard here, face on top side. AoE Medic here, face on left side. Keep get DP. Caster here, face on left side as well. Then swap this Vanguard into a Defender with a high HP or high defense. Up here. Okay, Gnosis. After Gnosis uh, mm, freeze the boss one time, when the boss is not freezed anymore, activate the skill to kill it uh, near the most near to this Defender possible. Okay, when the right side this enemy comes out, use Melanfa skill, activate it now, <coughs> to kill it, and prepare your device to clear the mud, because else the mud will spread. Okay, so right now you can use it to, to clear the mud here. You can retreat this with the guard, you don't need it anymore. Be careful to this big one, we need to stall it, like on this tile. How to do this? Just when this enemy is walking down, wait, this enemy go inside... Okay, volume is fine. Wait this enemy to go inside this tile and then block. So wait the shadow. You can see this circle, this shadow. Wait, wait the shadow is inside this tile. Then deploy def your tank's defender to tank it. The we medic's healing range can cover it, so don't worry. On bottom side, when this one dies and create the mud, clear it immediately. Don't wait, don't hesitate to wait, else it will spread. When this one dies as well, again. On left side, when that uh, dodging enemy dies, you can retreat the vanguard. Okay, when this one dies, again, use the device to clear the mud. Basically, the first wave, so after the boss first phase, between the first and second phase, it is the hard hardest one, and during that part, you need to clear the mud. And we have just five devices, which is the perfect number. If you can manage to save some devices, even better. Uh, for example, if you have um, someone with a silence your squad, like J, first skill, Lapland, um, Podenko, or someone uh, uh, with a stun, then you don't need this one anymore. Now just wait, um, yeah, retreat this, the, mm, I will show you why you should retreat this sniper. Anyway, it's retreat already now. As you can see, the enemy will create the mud on the field where the defender is. So, even we, if we take a lot of time to kill it, but the mud will not spread. Because remember the mechani mechanic? If uh, the, there's an operator, there's a unit on the mud, the mud will not spread anymore. So just uh, now kill him with the arts damage, so Gnosis. And when the enemy dies, clear the mud with the device. Remember, clear first and then you retreat. As you can see, the boss will eat this 
Killing operators are here in the cross. Sniper was here, that's why you should retreat the cross, else cross will die. Okay. During the second part, deploy Duelist Guard here to charge the skill and deploy the... Oh, it's called. Uh, actually, you can wait. The defender go get the blocks by first. Never mind. You need to block those enemies because from the second phase and above, the boss will take three blocks to be blocked. So you must let this defender have uh, enough block. So we need to block with those. Wait a bit, then use the Grand Seal skill to stun enemies and kill them. You can retreat this vanguard, you don't need it anymore. Okay. As you can see, second phase boss is really annoying, right? Because it can keep stun. But uh, we have Gnosis, which is Perma Freeze. And the boss will just uh, stay here. You don't move anymore. We slowly, slowly kill. Now deploy a medic here, face on right side, to help heal uh, Melanfa for later. Okay, during the second phase, pay attention again. Uh, actually, this is the second phase. During the third phase, sorry. <clears throat> so now just wait, the boss gets killed. It will take a bit. 30 seconds, maybe. Actually, 20. Uh, come on. If you could take a tree hand, little handy, so besides having enemies uh, could um, debuff uh, reduct, uh, debuff uh, could blah, 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 debuff duration longer, if you take the one which will increase your support attack speed, uh, it, it will literally perma freeze. Anyways, when this enemy jellyfish spawns, activate the duelist guard here to kill it. Left side, if you have a, a, any caster which is a stronger or equals to steward, you should be able to kill it, so no need to worry. Alright, now just wait for this one to get killed. You, know, you need to get uh, to retreat to this, how's it called, this medic around uh, now, because after one more healing, maybe. Okay. And when uh, this enemy with the icon, so when he dies, we'll create the, mud, uh, the device, uh, the relic, uh, kill it on this tile. So again, same strategy. Wait this enemy, wait, watch the shadow. Is uh, When he's inside this tile, deploy your defender. So around now, for example. Let's deploy. It will get pushed back, but the mechanic... Uh, mm, uh, we just count the enemies in this style, so we'll take those five tiles as cross without killing your perf per perfumer. Uh, also, sorry, no, 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 no. You don't use the defender to block. Use the vanguard with the two blocks to block, because, uh, yeah, you just need to block those two enemies. Uh, this was my mistake. So, again, sorry. Don't use the defender, but use the uh, vanguard. After you kill the here, you can retreat the list guard. So this way you can let the other enemies come inside and just activate the grunt's skill here to kill this enemy and those enemies as well. As you can see, it will uh, yeah, it will uh, drop where the enemy is dead, okay. but uh, you can see the mechanic is counting those five tiles, as I told you. Now Grunsys cannot reach here, it's fine, this is all calculated because we need to wait uh, our redeployment time for some operators. And here, yeah, the corruption damage from the aura is still pretty low, so the even Chestnut can heal. You can keep the caster here. I'll just wait a bit. When you have everyone ready, just retreat to this one and deploy maybe a yeah, black vanguard to stall. Just wait now, Gloss needs to kill it. Don't use Gloss's skill, keep it for the boss revive wave. This will take a bit as well, maybe 10 more no, 15 more seconds. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So one more. Okay. When that uh, enemy dies, I just retreat this flag vanguard, so you will not kill get killed by the boss. Now, during this wave, prepare. Your Vanguard here to block those enemies, so the boss will yeah, just uh, get uh, blocked by this one. Wait, uh, you can see bottom side, there are four of those dodging enemies, right? right? Wait, the fourth one, you can see this tentacle, wait, the fourth one is in here, basically, below uh, Perfumer, around now. Activate the skill. In this, this timing, you know, so you will be able to stun all of them and kill. Okay, you can also retreat this vanguard you don't need anymore. 
Okay, again, uh, what you have to do here is just to retreat to this AoE Medic. We need the AoE Medic later, because we need to keep those tiles free. I said that enemy will just kill, so retreat the AoE Medic. And yeah, with only two, few, two healing is fine. And now let's skip this part and skip to bef just before the boss dies. Okay, perfect. The boss is dead. No, on left side, um, yeah, this enemy maybe will dodge a lot, so just deploy your sniper as well to help kill this enemy. I don't know, yeah, we don't know how many times it, it, it will dodge. But no, just wait till this enemy come down. Agnosis will do this. And when is around at this point, not yet. Your, deploy your tank is defender to tank it. On this tile, remember, to block it. Okay, I'll just wait. You shouldn't have any problem. Now redeploy the AoE Medic here. Place on left side. Wait those enemies come closer, and then we activate the Gnosis skill. Not yet. Wait this enemy come down as well, the one from top side. Okay. Come closer. Around now, just activate it. And Gnosis will kill most of the enemies. Here activate this one to tank. Okay, perfect. Now last one, just wait Gnosis to kill. You can retreat this, actually no. Keep this one here to stall, I mean to, uh, to block the damage. Okay. Perfect. Now the boss, uh, yeah, depending on the distance, so the boss will hit the two buffs, which is the most close to him. So yeah, probably this one, this one. If you can manage to kill this one around the hero, but uh, it's really hard due to the RNG, unless you have some like red to to for the stun. If you can kill here, the boss will probably eat this one and one of those two. I mean, it's the same because the third last phase boss is really really weak. So just let him eat whatever, yeah, whichever he wants. He can even eat all the three buffs if he wants. We can still defeat. I'll just wait for uh, to charge the skill. Uh, 18 more seconds. Okay, the boss is a spawn. You can retreat those two, you don't need any more. On left side, since this is the last wave of enemies. Now, block enemies here with your operators, all of them. Just let uh, the three block of uh, this defender free to block the boss. While the others just use the, van the two vanguards here, here, yeah, to help. Now, activate everyone's skill. And then, Gnosis skill as well, when he's ready. Then you shouldn't have any problem. Deploy um, what is called uh, the other medic here as well to help uh, heal. And now, as you can see, we can slowly, slowly take down the boss. Deploy the list guard here to help the DPS. Don't need this one and this one anymore. We have basically three medics to heal: one wandering medic. One single target medic, one AoE medic, one medic defender, have everything. The boss will keep stack the attack, but when we have Gnosis skill, we can reset that. Sniper, I just added the sniper as well, and this is the bully. We have a lot of operators with bullying the boss. Must kill the ocean. The ocean made Skadi suffer. We must kill the ocean, guys. <laughs> okay, here we go. As you can see, pretty easy, right? If you understand uh, the boss mechanism and the uh, mechanic and the stage mechanic. Here we go. So hope this video helped you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.